This is question 37 from the gate 2022 EC paper where we are given that alpha and beta are two non-zero real numbers and v1 and v2 must be two non-zero real vectors of size 3 cross 1 which satisfy that the dot product is equal to 0 between v1 and v2 and the dot product is equal to 1 between v1 and v1 and v2 and v2 a being the following 3 cross 3 matrix we are asked to find what the eigenvalues of a are underneath the question you will find the title of the NPTEL course or video relevant to this topic so before we start the question a little bit of background on eigenvalues right alpha is an eigenvalue of matrix A if there exists a non-zero vector V such that AV is equal to alpha V. So we are given that A is equal to alpha V1 V1 transpose plus beta V2 V2 transpose and we are given that v1 transpose v2 is equal to 0 v1 transpose v1 is equal to v2 transpose v2 is equal to 1 so let's try and isolate alpha and beta in this expression first we post multiply with v2 on both sides the idea will be when we do v1 transpose v2 here this whole thing will get killed and so we isolate beta and so we post multiply by v2 and we get a v2 is alpha v1 v1 transpose v2 beta v2 v2 transpose v2 this is equal to 1 this is equal to 0 so a v2 is equal to beta v2 so beta is eigenvalue of a why because the question itself says v1 is not equal to 0 and v2 is not equal to 0 right similarly when you post multiply by v1 you will find that a v1 is equal to alpha v1 that is alpha is an eigenvalue of a So what can you tell about V1, V1 transpose? Well, V1, V1 transpose is the product of V1 and well, V1 transpose. So V1 has uh, size 3 cross 1. So what is the rank of V1? Well, it's going to be less than the minimum of the uh, two sizes. It's going to be less than or equal to 1 right similarly rank of v1 transpose also less than or equal to 1 and when you take two matrices and multiply them or two vectors and multiply them the rank of the resultant vector rank of v1 v1 transpose will be less than or equal to the minimum of the rank of the two vectors that you multiply which in this case it has to be less than or equal to 1 right because the both of them are less than or equal to 1 and so the minimum will also be the same which means that the nullity of v1 v1 transpose has to be greater than or equal to what is this going to be 3 minus 1 right greater than or equal to 2 why because rank plus nullity is equal to the number of columns of the matrix rank of a plus nullity of a is number of columns of a number of columns of a is 3 this is a 3 cross 3 matrix so that's 3 columns similarly we are going to get nullity of v2 v2 transpose is also greater than or equal to 2 right so both of them belong to a 
uh, three dimensional space but have nullity greater than or equal to two it means that the null spaces must have a common vector space right so what does this mean it means that there exists a vector v which belongs to the null space of v1 v1 transpose and also it belongs to the null space of v2 v2 transpose now what does this mean when we take the matrix a and we post multiply with v alpha v1 v1 transpose plus beta v2 v2 transpose times v right it now it belongs to the null spaces of both of them v1 v1 transpose times v will be equal to zero so this is just alpha times zero plus v2 v2 transpose times v is equal to zero so this is beta times zero which is zero that is v belongs to the null space of a which means a has a zero eigen value right so the eigen values are 0 alpha and beta thus the answer is a